Hey up everyone! So, continuing the London Film Festival coverage, today's movie I'm going to be discussing on the channel is the latest film written and directed by Jeff Nichols called The Bike Riders. The film is set mostly in Chicago during the late 60s and early 70s and is actually based off uh, a photo album which was taken by this photographer who documented photos of this Midwestern motorcycle club. <laughs> yeah, so Jeff Nichols thought, okay, I'll adapt this. <laughs> and this motorcycle gang was known as the Vandals. I'll give Jeff Nichols this. It is a very interesting framework idea for a film. Mike Face plays the photographer and we watch him as he interviews Kathy, who's played by Jodie Comer, who was a wife of one of the members of the Vandals. He was called Benny and he's played by Austin Butler. And yeah, basically the film explores the lives of the members of this motorcycle club. I saw The Bike Riders this morning and I have to say it's one of those films where I think I appreciate the film more than I loved it. Like, is it a perfectly watchable film? Yes. Is it well made? Absolutely. Is it life-changing? Not really. Will I watch it again? Probably not. But it is well crafted. Nichols does a great job of keeping the tone and the mood feeling consistent. It's well performed, even though I will say some of the accents in this movie do take a little bit of getting used to. Like, Jodie Comer's a good example. She plays Kathy, and I'm not saying that Jodie Comer gives a bad performance. She's like the queen of accents, but it's definitely one of those accents where you need a moment just to get used to it, but once you hear Jodie Comer do a few scenes doing the Chicago accent, you know, it does sound quite believable, like she is really committed to it and she does a good job. But yeah, when she first opened her mouth, I couldn't help but giggle. Tom Hardy's in this as the leader of the Vandals Bike Gang called Johnny, and Tom Hardy is, you know, very reliable in this as the thuggish, brutish, you know, hard boss man. The only thing is, me and my friend Charlie both agreed after we saw this, it's like, We've kind of seen Tom Hardy do this role a lot recently. This feels like so many of his, of his other recent roles. And yeah, it didn't really feel like a challenge for him. Like he was really stretching himself. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Tom Hardy. It's just, uh, I feel like I've seen him do this role so many times and I want him to shake it up and do something unexpected. This just feels like a role that he was all too familiar and comfortable in. He is actually one of my favorite actors and I know he's capable of so much more, so I just kind of want to see him do something a little bit different now. Austin Butler is pretty good in this, but the film doesn't actually ask too much from him because all he has to do really is just be stoic, mysterious, and broody, and he nails that and he looks cool as fuck in his uh, denim jacket, but yeah, he doesn't really do a whole lot of the emotional heavy lifting in this film. Leave that to his scene partner, Jodie Comer. But this is also one of those films where I found myself going on more than one occasion. Oh, he's in this. I watched this film, my friend and fellow film critic, Stu Torgs. I'll pop a link up here to his channel. Go check him out. He's fabulous, guys. But yeah, we were watching this and like numerous times at the cinema. Right? Oh, look, it's Michael Shannon. Hey, isn't that Toby Wallace? It's like, Norman Reedus is in this? This is my public apology to Stu for bothering him so much while we watch this movie. I will say with the bike riders that I did admire the themes of brotherhood, masculinity in crisis, and loyalty. In many ways, I was kind of getting like Scorsese vibes from this film, particularly in the latter part of the film where it starts to get a little bit more crimey. But yeah, for whatever reason, this film just didn't really wow me. Like there's nothing outright bad about this film. It's just one of those films where I liked it enough whilst I was watching, but I don't think I'll ever feel the need to watch it again. Some of you are asking on Twitter, does it have any Oscars chances? Um, I don't really see The Bike Riders as an Oscars movie, but I don't really see Jeff Nichols' films at all as Oscars movies. And that's actually one thing that I admire about Jeff Nichols, is that he is a filmmaker that values integrity more than sentimentality. Like, his films never really feel like they're pandering, you know, for, like, awards attention. So I do respect that. He does have a lot of, you know, filmmaking fiber. <laughs> Somebody's been eating his cinematic bran flakes. But yeah, even though the cast is perfectly good in this film, it is an ensemble film, The Bike Riders. Like, I'm not actually sure who I would call the main character in this movie. Like, is it Jodie Comer? Is it Austin Butler? Is it Tom Hardy in a way? Because he's the leader of the gang. That's the thing, like, I don't really know who the main character is. It's all a big supporting ensemble, I'd say. And because of that, um, nobody really stands out. It's all pretty even, and there's not really big, many juicy moments, I'd say. So yeah, I would be surprised if any performance from this film gets any traction. So let's ask them three questions. Firstly, would I watch it again? No, but not because there's anything wrong with this film, it's just because this film is not really my cup of tea. Question two, do I recommend it for you guys? I recommend this film if you like the work of Jeff Nichols, so if you like films like Mud or Loving, then you'll probably appreciate this film. Also, if you like the TV show Sons of Anarchy, like, it's 
you know, <laughs> similar in theme, I guess, with, you know, motorcycle gangs and stuff. So yeah, if you like that show, then you might get, <laughs> you might enjoy this. <laughs> But this isn't one of those films which I would push on my friends and family and say, oh, you have to go see this. So make of that what you will. And third question, what score to give it out of 10? It's well put together and well executed, but this film just wasn't anything that exceptional, in my humble opinion. So I'm gonna give it a score of 5.5 out of 10. But as always guys, it's just one bloke's opinion. I would love to hear from you. Are you excited for the bike riders? Are you gonna go watch it? Have you seen it? If you have, what did you make of this film? Do you think it's gonna get some Oscar nominations? If so, which ones? Let me know in that comment section down below. If you guys want more movie, TV, and Oscars related content, don't forget to click subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. For more things related to movies, TV, the Oscars, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Kierfield, and I'll see you next time.